What's going on guys? Twitter Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're trying to reveal a diamond reward with one of my best hitting teams, if not my best hitting team that I've ever had here on MLB The Show 18. And we're going for six wins, so let's see if we can get six likes in the first six minutes of this video and six comments in the first six minutes. For something that you guys can comment down below, I would love to see something other than Battle Royale that you would like to see from me in MLB. I've been getting some comments like, hey, can you do some ranked seasons? Maybe some debuts, maybe some events, just something other than VR. So let me know what other thing besides Battle Royale would you guys like to see if you had to choose one. And before we get into the first game, I just want to show you guys a couple things. So first of all, Curtis Granderson and obviously Immortal Babe Ruth are pretty much cheat codes for me at least in this game. Granderson is 17 for 40, so a 425 average with 10 home runs, man. I don't know what it is, but I love Curtis Granderson and MLB The Show, and this card's been doing amazing for me in this Battle Royale. Babe Ruth, it's not hard to tell that he's pretty much a cheat code with those hitting stats. He's batting 467, 14 hits with 8 homers. He's like Both of these guys are just killing it for me in this Battle Royale. And the last thing that I wanted to show is my game that I lost. So we're 3-1. and one. We obviously have an L, and you guys can see here I lost 5-4. to four. So in the first inning... I had three home runs, four runs. The rest of the game, my opponent had, I think it was four home runs, five runs, and we ended up losing. I could not pitch. You guys have been watching the videos recently. You, you know I'm struggling with pitching right now. And I've been using like a target brand control freak type thing on my analog sticks. And I recently took the one off of hitting. And that's when we started winning all these games. So I'm like, okay, maybe if I take the one off for pitching, I'll start winning some games too. And I'll, so far, we're 1-0. Oh. We're 1-0 oh since I've taken off the pitching thing. Hopefully, it continues in this video. We win all three games. Also, a huge shout out to Nolan. He was the guy I played to get win number three. We played in Coors Field. Had a pretty solid game. I think the final score was 2-1. to one. I had two, I had a triple with Grandy and then a homer with Immortal Babe. And he had a home run in the bottom of the third, but couldn't quite tie the game up. So shout out to him, and I appreciate the love, man. Thank you, Nolan. We're playing the Twitch.tv Phillies. He has Immortal Cal, Eduardo Escobar, 88 Dante Bichette, 85 Grandal, Wimber Flores, Ryan Braun, Yasmani Thomas, Starling Castro, Chad Bell on the mound. We got Ranger Suarez on the mound. Home team looking for win number four. Whoa! No! Oh, I'm sitting here. I was going to say something, and then I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll say it if we can get a base hit or something. But I was going to say, uh, hey, so far it's going well. Pitching with, uh, with the analog stick thing off. And then we go ahead and do that. Not a huge deal. Going to be tough now. We're looking for a double play. He has switch righty switch. So I'm going to bring in Rob Ned. I've been using Blake Trine in a bit. And he's the one that gave up all the homers in that in the game I lost. So I kind of been focusing on Rob Neng because I feel like I like him and his pitch selection a little bit better. We got the double play. Let's go. So I've been using Rob Neng a little bit more. I know I have a diamond in the bullpen, but I just I'm not a huge fan of Blake Trinan's pitch selection. I, I kind of regret drafting him. If I'm gonna be honest, I, w I wish I would have used it on somebody else, but not a huge deal. Good thing we got into trouble that inning. Curtis Granderson, no doubt about it. First pitch we see. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, man. He is a cheat code. Hopefully, Immortal Babe Ruth can do the same, but good Lord. 436 line drive shot. First pitch of the game. Oh, man. Let's go, Grandy. Immortal Babe not quite getting a home run, but getting a base hit, man. This is such a good card. I got a little bit on top of it. Probably shouldn't have been swinging at the pitch anyways. Uh, it was just a tad below the zone, but it looked good. And we ended up getting a base hit out of it. Babe Ruth with the stolen base. He does it all. Let's go. He hits home runs. He steals bases. He makes defensive plays. Man, I'm glad we got him on this team. Hopefully, we can be a 12-win team. And I, I really thought this would be the 12-0 team. And I lost the game because I couldn't pitch. Really need to figure out. I'm hoping taking that thing off my controller is what I needed to do for pitching. Um, I know, obviously, I, you guys, if you guys watch the videos, you know I probably throw way too many pitches low in the zone. But the thing is, I tried throwing high pitches that game. And it's a combination of two things. One, when I try to throw a high pitch, I feel like, I, you know, if I hang the pitch, it's down the middle. It's not going to be below the zone where they could get on top of it. It's going to be somewhere they can crank. So... If I hang pitches, trying to throw it high, not a good idea for me because it's, it's probably going to be down the middle. And second thing, even if I throw like a high pitch out here or something, if it hit, okay, I'm throwing it down the middle now. 
this is that's my first example. But if I try to throw like a high pitch out here, probably should do a breaking ball instead of a fastball. Um, I feel like it's a little bit easier to lay off, and then also if it's on the corner, they can seem to pull it still or or hit it the other way for homers more than they could low pitches. Obviously, I. Oh my goodness, man! Obviously, I probably shouldn't be uh, be throwing the same pitches over and over. I shouldn't only throw low pitches or something. I I shouldn't mix it up. But for me, high pitches, I I think those I can use those to mix it up. But I think only low pitches, man. Even though I just give up a homer, I don't know. I, I suck at pitching. If you guys have pitching tips, I suck. But keep in mind everything that I've said with the hanging pitches and the locations. But I just suck at pitching. Brandon Drury getting into one, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I mean, so I, I took the thing off, and, and ever since then I've been hitting really well. And I don't know. I, I honestly I don't know what I was gonna say. I was I said I don't know what it is, and I was gonna either say something about hitting or pitching. I really don't know. But I wish I could pitch because I really think I could win 12 game after 12 game after 12 game as long as I could pitch. But I always seem to just hang pitches, and I, I'm really hoping. That taking the little thing off the pitching one helps me get rid of that and start to locate pitches better. So far, it's going it's going pretty solid. Uh, still a little bit of issues, but for the most part, I think I think it's been helping. Oh, we won! <laughs> Honestly, I didn't know what it. I was just kind of on autopilot, man, just throwing pitches and everything, and I didn't realize what ending it was. We got win number four. Let's go for win number five and then win number six. Reveal that diamond for y'all. Yo, GG to SJ Titans. I appreciate you watching the videos, man. Good game to you. Good luck in the rest of your battle royale. That was your first loss. Appreciate the love, man. Thank you. We're playing American Consumerism. He has 81 Mike Avila, 87 Steve Finley, Immortal Babe, Just Like Us, Evan Gaddis, that glitchy, 79 Brandon Moss, Jerickson Profar, William Defoe. Jason Hayward, Tim Anderson on the mound, Ranger on the mound for us again, home team again, looking for win number five right here. Babe Ruth lining it into the gap, man, immortal babe, he's so good. I mean, obviously it's going to be good, I, I feel like I've said this, I, I feel like I'm saying he's good and then trying to defend myself, like, oh, maybe you guys won't agree with me. Um, <laughs> I like this guy's uniform, he has like, I, I like the colors, the, the, that light blue and then the pink. Um... Oh, man. Immortal Babe. Can Immortal Babe throw an Immortal Babe at home? Come on, come on, come on. No! Bro! So close. Oh, man. Yo, I really thought we had him. That would have been an amazing play. No. Stop it, Alex. What am I doing? Oh, man. He has, like, logos on the front of his jersey, though. I just think it's kind of cool. Finally, Curtis Granderson. I think that was the ninth pitch of the at bat. I probably fouled, fouled off six of them. So one and two. There's three pitches, nine. Yeah, I think I fouled off six pitches in a row. Actually, we had a ball taken in there. But man, Curtis Granderson just gave me an amazing at bat. Jesus Aguilar up. Anything but a double play. Then Immortal Babe Ruth comes up to bat. Full account to Immortal Babe. Here we go. Ball four, man. They're too scared. Too scared to face Babe. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Wellington Castillo, please tie the game. Please don't be foul. Please don't be caught. Let's go. Oh, Wellington Castillo. Oh, man. What a home run. I need to see this. Come on. Let me pause. Let me pause. I think that might have been literally off the top of the wall. Yo, it was actually, it was off the top of the wall. No way. Oh, man, what a base hit. What a, what a home run. Tie in the game. That's huge. Let's go. Jerks and Profar now getting a double. Could be a triple if he plays this weird. No, we're going to be getting a double out of it. Runner in scoring position, two down. I would love to take the lead right here. Oh, man, that just gave me some more moment. Just, just some new momentum. I didn't have any. That home run gave me some momentum. Trying to get an insurance run couldn't quite do it. All I have to do is actually pitch now if I can pitch I got faith in us. We'll get to the top of our lineup again. Maybe the bottom can do some damage, but all I need to do That's gonna be a base hit Yeah, oh man, <laughs> oh lord I'm sitting there like wait. Do we just make a really nice play not quite Jason Hayward coming up 
trying to bunt it a little bit. He's going to steal here. I got Spidey Senses tingle in there going. He's not trying to steal. I'm throwing a fastball down the middle with slide step. Oh, we got the double play. Oh, man, that's huge. Getting out of the inning. I'm still not doing great pitching. I'm doing a little bit better, I think, but... I'm still not doing amazing. I think I should probably. I think it's. I think it's a smart idea to leave in the lefty because he is a righty pinch hitter. You know, it's like if I bring in a righty, he's probably going to bring in a lefty, and then I might pinch hit for my guy in the bottom of the inning, and pretty much waste a pitcher that I could have used in the top of the third when we might have gotten out of the inning with the lefty, the right there, just fine. Brandon Drury, ball four. I'll take it. Now we get a pinch hitter, Colby Rasmus. Oh man, this guy. This, he has another glitchy swing. If you make some solid contact, Chris Davis, Curtis Granderson, Immortal Babe, Colby Rasmus, there's a few guys, especially lefties, that have just these swings where if you make certain contact, I mean, obviously they have power too. That's part of it. And it seems like it's just a lot of the time a home run. So hopefully we can do that here, take the lead, win the game in the top of the inning. Wow. Oh, man, I don't know if he's using butts and accuracy or what, but wild throw to second. Granderson coming up now. Oh, man, I suck. Granderson coming up with a runner in scoring position instead of him getting that double play. That's huge for us. Granderson is early. Oh, no, that was a home run right there. <sighs> Got to stop being early. Got to look at my PCI a little bit better here. We actually stole the base. I didn't think we were going to be safe. I'll take it, but man, I really did not expect that right there. Honestly, I kind of want to... I wanted to I wanted to be out so we could have Granderson leading off the bottom of the third, but it's not a huge deal. It is a huge deal. Dang it. Gosh darn it, man. Oh, well, we're going to the top of the inning. Immortal Bay will come up in the bottom. We're going to win the game. I can already tell. Actually, I don't want to say that because it seems like a lot of the time when I'll, when I'll be cocky like that, we end up losing. Full account to Immortal Babe here. Top of the third, two down. Oh, what do I throw? What do I throw? What do I throw, man? Ugh. Uh, split or low and inside. I don't care if we walk him. Oh, that's a good pitch. That's a really good pitch. I don't, I don't, I don't think I could have made a better pitch. Like, look at where this one was. I really don't think I could have made a better pitch right there. Evan Gaddis up, righty on righty here, looking to get down to the top of the third inning. One runner on, power hitter up. But we can't do it. Dang it, man. Oh, my goodness. Why do I suck at pitching? Oh, my. <laughs> Look at where this one was. I, I don't understand it. I, I'm, I'm just really bad at pitching. Obviously, I should I should probably take this guy. You know what? I'm just going to bring in a lefty here. I'm going to bring in a lefty for Brandon Moss. Hopefully, he doesn't do more damage. But I don't, I don't, I don't get why I'm so bad at pitching. Like, that, that was literally down the middle, too. It, it, seriously, if you, if you guys have pitching tips, let me know. Because, I mean, obviously, I throw too many low pitches, but I didn't give up a home run on the low pitch. Maybe if, I, if I'm going to, like, try and get a pitch outside like this, I need to just locate it more. And, hey, it's one and two. If I locate it like this, it might be more in the corner. But if I don't locate it well... But if I don't locate it well, it's going to be, you know, outside. And it's a two and two count. So a, a two and two count's better than, say, giving up a home run if you do miss it and it's more over the plate rather than outside of the plate. I, I really thought I was going to catch that diving ball. I really did. Um, I got to get down this inning, man. Two, two runs is a lot. Two runs is a lot, especially for me being in the third inning. So I got to get down to this inning without allowing any more. What? Okay. <laughs> um, I was getting ready to say, all right, going to the bottom of the third inning. Is that an error? That's not an error. Did I just... Did I... Dang, man. It, it... I don't even want to say anything. There's no there's no point in saying anything can't change it bottom of the third inning you guys are gonna see every pitch I'm not gonna talk a lot cuz I want to focus. Oh Man Yikes, I thought that was gonna be below the zone. Oh and two quickly Mortal babe come on man anything bro anything 
Anything but an out, obviously. But dang, man, I can't. I was ready for the high pitch with Aguilar, and then I th it wasn't a fastball. Immortal, babe, home run, cheat code card. But you know, we're still down by we're still down by two. It's gonna be tough. We can do it, but we're still down by two. I'm glad we hit that homer, man. Part we we. I would say this is this is like, considering what the PCI does, this is perfect home run contact because you don't want it in the middle or else that's technically a line drive. You want it a little bit above the middle. So that was like perfect homer contact. Wellington Castillo, one and one to him. Here we go. This pitcher has four seam curve slider sinker. Hitters count. Here we go. Three and one. I'm swinging if it's good. If it's close, I don't want to swing. It looked better to me than it was. Oh, man. Just missed that one. Just missed that one. Dang it, bro. All right, Ozzy Albies. Here we go. You're our last hope, bud. Here we go. Ozzy Albies. I thought we were going to tie the game. We were early on it. We were early. Oh, man. Just early. Down the middle, and what do I do? Did I lower it? Yep. Oh, down to our final strike. Ozzy Albies, we lost. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we didn't uh, lose by one, because if we lost by one, I, I, I probably would have been kind of mad just because my fielder didn't field that third down or whatever. Uh, maybe I took a bad route to the ball, whatever. But, man. I suck at pitching. That's that's all. That's all it is, man. I, I need to I need to get better. Um, my hitting I think is fine. I think my hitting's in a pretty solid spot right now. Um, I, I I've been hitting the ball solid. I've been a little bit more patient. I need I do need to work on patience and, and pitch selection for swinging at. Obviously, PCI placement is not perfect. I, I can still work on hitting. I'm happy with where my hitting is at though. Um, I'm not happy with where my pitching is at. And I really I, I need to figure out a way to fix it. Maybe just play more. Um, I feel like that's the only thing I can do. Play more, mix it up more. Um, when I was doing really well at pitching, actually, and I, I kind of forgot about this, I was never throwing the same pitch twice in a row. Now I'm consistently throwing the same pitch m in a row. So I, I probably need to go back to that, just kind of over dramatically try and fix my pitching, never throw the same pitch twice in a row, um, and just see where it goes from there. I'll probably be drafting the team tomorrow. Uh, hopefully getting an immortal for you guys that we can play with again. Hopefully getting another good draft. That was one of my best teams I've had in a while, and I lost because I just couldn't pitch, which sucks, man. I'm mad about it, but it's just motivation to get a little bit better at this game. Subscribe, comment, leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.